Hello everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel here for the next episode of Ted Lasso. The first episode I'm releasing in on the correct date, if you will, because we have been watching the entire thing. What a phenomenal show, by the way. This is a show that has never let me down. It's filled with brilliant characters, brilliant storytelling, gripping moments and speeches and just fantastic and i genuinely am excited to talk about this episode because it was another stellar episode be sure to check out all the episodes at apple tv plus there are 10 episodes in the first season 12 in the second and there will be 12 in this season so 34 episodes but it's only episode six today of season three spoilers ahead subscribe like and enjoy the video so ted lasso here we go um this was a brilliant one, and it was sort of taken. It sort of took me out of my body for a second, like, like why are we in Amsterdam? Um, but then I was like, this works so well. You had Beard, who was high off his ass, um, but really wasn't, which, as we revealed by the end of it. But I think something was wrong with him because he went on a bit of a tangent. Ted, for he um. Well, he thought he was, just, again, drugged up. But again, he just was going through the motions and has come up with a technique for the next upcoming games, which I'm really excited. I also want to take into account is this probably takes place during the international break because um, obviously none of these players would be decent enough to actually obviously take the place of real footballers. Um, but yeah, I think what this episode did was brilliant. We follow the different characters, the different segments. The best, obviously, moment, I think, was definitely with Colin. And obviously, no one really knew where this storyline would have taken us. And the fact that Trent is an open LGBTQ plus um, person. Um, he is... Um, it was a really nice moment, I think, because it could have gone either way. You know, he followed him to the bar. We were like, oh, what's going to go on? Um, and for him to share how he came out, you know, his experiences, his feelings, the way he wanted to know Colin's ability to keep this to himself, to keep going forward. Uh, and especially as a footballer, it's obviously even more difficult. You're always in the lime night limelight you're always worried that people are going to find out i think they were the one of the best parts of the episode the best part of the episode i've got to say is roy and jamie to see them to become this close after them hating each other in season one partial bits of season two it truly is a testament to the writing but not just the writing because roy is still like fuck <laughs> you know <laughs> he, he, he's the best character i just Every time he's on the screen, I'm like, this is going to be a good scene. And I just love how perfectly executed it was. Um, From the vibes between them two, the team struggling to, to, to determine what they wanted to do. William ha ha somehow getting into a threesome with a couple he met in the bar with Higgins on the red light district. That was obviously intriguing. I loved how Ted was at an American bar. And he was watching this basketball game, which is where he developed the the, the, ta the tactics. Obviously, that I said at the start, um, you had Keely, who's gone to met meet her, uh, her girlfriend, if you will, her boss, uh, to go see the Northern Lights in Norway. You had Rebecca, who stumbled across a guy on a boat, and she ended up having a really really good time. And yeah, it was just one of those episodes following these different people doing different things. Ted's was the most intriguing because, um, well, he thought he was on drugs. And then he went to the Van Gogh Museum. He got his nice speech. He was thinking about all these things. And I just think they delivered so well. They handled the hour-long episode perfectly with different characters trying to find their place in this world. And to end it with them all on the bus... William talking to his mother about what he did in Amsterdam was just just so funny. Um, but we're dealing with a fantastic set of characters and cast members um, and different things of what they get up to in Amsterdam. And what I did love as well, obviously Roy and Jamie eventually get, ended up getting bikes because they went sightseeing the entire time on their jog. And they jogged the entire day, give credit to them. 
Um, Roy obviously opened up about obviously his granddad's death and obviously not riding a bike. Jamie opened up about the fact that his dad brought him to Amsterdam to have sex in the red light district. But then two years after that, he came back with his mother to do tourist stuff. I think that is such an incredible opening um have him opening up to Roy about the things he's been through with his family and the fact of the polar opposite differences between his dad and mum. I absolutely adore some of the character development in this show. Each and every character is brilliant. You know, is it McAdoy? Um I, I can't remember most of the names. You know, the captain, you know, he's trying to lead these lads into a direction. You have Yamas, you have Sam You've got all these characters who are trying to pick that certain. I mean, Zoro is a very horny guy, clearly, he just wants to watch a sex show. And then these two girls who worked at the hotel sort of put, put him off it. <laughs> it was such an enjoyable episode with really nice moments and good moments. Um, I would love to see the Dutch guy again with Rebecca. I think um, they have really good chemistry. It was a really good vibe. It didn't feel forced. I loved how the more she was there, she she constantly enjoyed the time. And it's going to be really intriguing to see what happens when they all return to England, um, you know, to see what sort of bond they've created you know, after the pillow fight, after partying with Trent and uh, Colin. And just just all of it. It was an absolute blast of an episode. One of my most enjoyable um, and I, I I can't wait for more. Six episodes left. A brilliant season so far. Brilliant development, and we can only expect it to get better and better. So, did you enjoy this episode? If not, let me know down below. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.